Hey guys, back, well actually back again, and uh, I'm, and I'd like to apologize for not uploading any videos, but you remember what I said I was not going to be here, because I was taking care of some other family issues, but uh, I'm back, and uh, also guys, uh, uh, starting uh, to, after this uh, video is uploaded, uh, I will be starting the next episode, the next part of uh, the first episode of the the Spirit and Ice meets uh, Sailor, Sailor Moon. So watch out for that one, and uh, and you guys, and if you guys already know, uh, the uh, my, the episode is not going to be part is not going to be um, adapted to the uh, video. So um, what I'm going to so uh, so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, what I'm going to do is I have a little uh, thing I'm going to do, and that is uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to redo my video, my uh, the the series. What I'm going to what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to remake uh, the first episode. Of, I'm going to redo the first episode of that, and uh, then I'm going to uh, add uh, Sailor Moon and the the Guardians in it. Instead of what I should, which I should have done in the first one uh, a while ago, but I never did that. But because uh, I didn't think that this would happen. But uh, anyway, I said that's what I'm gonna do. And don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm. Don't worry, guys, because the series is still gonna be going on. And uh, also, guys, um, I will be doing. Uh, I think um, maybe on August, I'm going to. Uh, uh, do a redo. I'm gonna do a uh, uh, update video of uh, the Sonic and Shadow and Equestria casting, and and so and so far, guys, I only have one casting ballot in. Well, I well I know, but I have another uh, person that's doing it too that wants to do it too, which is uh, Michael Evans. Uh, he wants to. He's um and, uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have everyone have a chance and. Uh, and if no one does it until if I don't get any more new casting before uh, uh, April, what I'm going to do is I'm going to text uh, Michael Evans and he and ask him to do the whole uh, do most of the uh, uh, casting that characters that have not have gotten anybody. I've got one person so far. That is going to do some acting, and that, and he's going to be the voicing Tails and uh, someone else. I forget who he decided he was going to go for, but uh, anyway, that's what's going to happen. And uh, well, so for right now, guys, enough chit chat. Let's get started with the video, shall we? And here we go with my next reaction video of uh, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trial, Trials of the Justice. So uh, if you are ready, here we go in three. Two, one, start. Oh. Now I will say this. I already see a contradiction in this in this testimony. Sorry, guys. But did you? I forgot. I forgot to. Uh, turn it. I, I did it yet, but I know what happened now. The full story. Okay. I know what happened, but I don't know how to prove it. Let's see, I'll make a bell. Okay, go on. Pass. Alright, I, I was just checking if my uh, camera was in the right angle for you guys. Uh, pass. The whole game lasted about an hour. That's right, when did it press? Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> An hour? Do chess games usually last that long? My word! Young lady, chess matches can last hours! Days, even! Days? Well, it all depends on who is playing. I myself have gone ten hours playing against some of the best in the country. Really? That's something. Wow, ten hours? It only takes me ten minutes to play a game of checkers with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, press. Hold it! You said you got up to... Wait, you said you got up to 
get a trick, right? That is my story. And I'm sticking to it. So, then you didn't go out of your way and buy a paintbrush, right? <laughs> that was funny. That was good. We are not talking about the paintbrush or the evidence found at the scene. Our topic right now is what happens during the game. Mr. Payne is right. Please do not deviate from the current topic, Miss Payne. Perhaps I thought I could pull a fast one. <laughs> but I know this guy oh, planted those one. items. He had to. It was just an exhibition game. We weren't playing for anything. Yeah, right. Press that one. Pass for a minute. This is the best uh, testimony, Maya. We have to find a contradiction here or it's all over. Okay. I think we're going to press it now. I think Daddy said otherwise, too. Hmm. Okay, so you wanted to press... The uh, last sentence. This one, right? Yes. Say this. This is what they were playing for, but in order to prove it, you gotta present the catalog again. So, 
just that was the prize in the game. Then that means something happened because of that. Mr. McQueen lost the game. Very good. And everybody watching this has lost the game. <laughs> oh, damn it. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Just as I thought. With a 
Yeah, James well, and well, James uh, and not, I'm not like exactly the same, but I mean like piece wise. Like, you know, if you drop over one piece, it goes out. Like, well, in a sense, yes, but each piece has its own form of movement. Like, say, the pawn can only move up one space, but when it's knocking out an opponent, it can only go in diagonal. Now, a king can move one space anywhere it goes. A horsey can only move in an L-shaped formation, and it can jump over pieces. So, now, here's something that I completely forgot you could do. Now, this is where it may seem similar to checkers. When one gets a, when one gets a piece to the other side of the opponent's board, he can upgrade that piece. Like, a simple checkers can become a king, a pawn can acquire upgrade to a different class. I think it's that piece there. You think it's this? You think it's the pawn? Yes, because if he upgraded, he could make an L move because of horsey. You're saying he could use this to turn it into a knight? There you go, baby. Right? Mm hmm because you said he could upgrade. Then let's try it. That's it. Black moved this pawn. Here. You want to move this pawn here? You were told to make the win in one move. How can you possibly win by putting the pawn there? Well, right now, it's the only move I can make. The other pieces won't make a winning move at all. But putting the pawn here will allow me to promote it to another piece of my choosing. Why, that's true. Moving the pawn all the way to the enemy side of the board will allow you to pick a new class for that piece. Which begs the question, Miss Faye, which piece will you choose? Huh? Well then, what shall it be? I'll even give you a hint. A rook and bishop are out of the question. Neither piece will win this game. What's he up to? Why is he giving me hints? Don't worry about him, Maya. You just have to make a decision now. I have to pick either the, a queen or the knight. And don't worry about making a mistake. I'm sure the judge will give you another chance. Okay, I think I got it, Nick. Now let's see, which piece should I pick? Well, what was it that you mentioned earlier that she would upgrade it to? A knight. Yeah, the pawn became a... The pawn became... <gasps> the pawn became a knight! Very good! Yeah, yeah. The obviously can't win the game in one move. So the only piece that can win the game is the knight! The, the knight? But it makes an awkward L move. How does that help win the game? I'm glad you asked, Painty Pants! Painty Pants! Let's take a look at the board with the promoted Painty Now that the knight is on the board, which moves can the White King make? Well, he can... No, uh, he... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Whoa, I didn't know it went out to the... I didn't realize it was almost over, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, guys. I'll be right back.